Who's ready for an epic road trip slash sailing adventure at Manipur, eh? Well guys, we're at the Manipuri Boat Club, obviously on Lake Manipuri, and we're getting ready for the Manipuri Classic. Um, it's our first time, none of us have ever been even on this lake before. Um, these other guys, they're like professionals. They're take, taking stuff off their boat, we're putting stuff on ours. What could go wrong? The weather forecast for today was for around 25 knots of wind. Um, so we opted to start with a reef in the main as we've never sailed on this lake before. Um, pretty much every other boat just went for full sails. And as a result, we got smashed off the line. And we were way out of time. <laughs> but hey, we're having fun and we're here for the beers and the lulls. I thought I'd show you just how far off the starting line we actually were when this horn sounded. Um, we still haven't gone for it. Okay, so we've started the race, um, we're well behind the pack, which is great because we don't actually know where we're going. We have no idea where the race course actually is, so we were just hoping that we were going to be able to keep up enough to figure out where we're actually going to. Putting the other, taking out that, taking out the reef rather than. Yeah. Or do you want to try the heads up? No, no, the reef's easier, faster to do. Just another bike cut in front. It wasn't that easy or fast to do shaking the reef out. But anyway. Really look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just don't know that we really want to be that low. We're no. just coming. We're not losing, we're losing a lot of speed. Right? Yeah. So we're not super experienced sailors at this sort of thing, and we're not on a very racy boat. And also, I had a hard enough time getting Sharon to get onto this boat as it was, so, you know.
make as big a sail. Okay, so we shook the reef out, giving ourselves more sail, but uh, realising the process that this, the first reef point um, doesn't work as it should. So what's happening at the front? Um, and we were unable to get yeah. the sail trimmed the way we'd yeah. like it, so a few teething problems, okay. um, but to be expected. Yeah. The bottom section of the mast track is missing, which means we're unable to run the sail down and clip in to the bottom uh, reef point, which is what's giving us the issues. by big gusts of wind, um, the boat heels over and it just wants to round up into the wind so you have to basically let out the mainsail, spill some wind off so that the boat rightens up properly and you can actually steer. <laughs> that popping noise was the roller for them at the bottom of the mast for the main um, halyard and it just ripped it right out of the mast so good times good times
Pushing 25 knots now, we're still at the back of the pack. We have uh, busted um, main sheet, main halyard um, pulley, and our rudder um, tiller is about to fall off. Um, and then we hear on the radio that someone further up in the pack is uh, retiring due to a man overboard and a tiller extension malfunction. 
and then a few minutes later another boat just rings in and um, calls it quits because of the weather conditions. So at this point we're trying to decide whether or not it's even worth carrying on with the race and just calling it quits. on the radio and tell race control that we're um, abandoning the race and we're gonna head for a look for a safe anchorage and race control advises that St Stockyard Cove is a good spot so we decided to head uh, to Stockyard Cove so we sailed the rest of the way anyway um, mostly because the boat is probably faster in rougher conditions under sail than it would be with the wee 8 horsepower outboard motor
Beast of the school by the rock or something, oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, we've got the egg right out here a little bit just in case something does pop up. Yeah. Don't know how deep it is, though, folks. Oops, killed it. Drifting! Huh? Would you like to give you all that warning now? We're drifting! Alright. Hello, right. back in time. Still good. Full sails, they're yeah, like so dead. Don't yeah. yeah. put the reef in, right? No, no, no. Real sailors, yeah. right? <laughs> put the reef in. I think mean, when you put the reef in, because Dad didn't put one in before, he's like, oh shit, it's not heaps better with the reef in. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's already a fire up here. Stockyard Cove. Oh, it is Stockyard Cove. Yeah. 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 No. Oh, hang on your anchor rope. Huh? What's that? Hang on your anchor rope. Okay, you're pulling it up. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> and I'll probably have to do that sooner rather than later. Wait, are you tied off to anything here? Nah, still stuck in Huh? But have you got have you got a rope on the ground here? Because if I pull it, it's going to pull us off shore. Yeah, yeah. He's getting there. He's getting there. Give me a second. <laughs> what are you What are you pulling for? Oh, no, I was wondering what the fuck you were doing, and we're just getting closer and closer to the rock. Uh, oh. Dude, uh, I just said my shit. I just saw some other shit. Stuff right there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go back to the tree. Yeah, so I think you're going to, yeah, go, I don't know. Have you got enough to go back to the tree? Or is tie oh, the tree stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we decided to uh, bail on the race because it's really rough and we broke our rudder again. <laughs> no rudder, no teller, sorry. Uh, so we just camped up here and stuck our bail. Well, that's the end of this video. Um, on the next video, we go chasing waterfalls, even though they tell you not to go chasing waterfalls. <laughs>